Tony Fisher in the afternoon. This is BBC Essex. Well, I'm delighted to welcome my next guest to the studio. Terrific new film, which is released next week. It's called 24 Hours in London, uh, filmed right here in Essex. And uh, I'm, I'm delighted to welcome back Chris Johnson, who plays the vengeful killer, Neil Ward, who plays Silvertooth Jack, don't mess. And Paul Knight, the director, are all with me today. Good to see you, fellas. Thanks hey, so much for Good to see you too. Uh, Paul, I think I'll start with you because I'm always aware that when I talk to the writer and director of a film, I don't want to give too much away synopsis-wise. So I'll let you do the synopsis and you can give away as much as you feel you want to about this. Oh, it's strange that you're saying that. I think we've had to put out like nine press releases and I think I've changed the synopsis on every release. Um, basically... Depending on what angle you see it, it's a uh, discredited female detective who has to find out the motives behind the day before's vengeful killings that lasted 24 hours. So it's basically two stories running parallel one day and the next day, if you like. So yeah. uh, that's probably the easiest way to... Yeah, film. and I'm glad you didn't have said too much because what <laughs> I, what I, the first thing I love about this film is the fact that we don't know a great deal. We learn as we go don't we yeah. very much so the first thing we see of course is you Chris playing the vengeful killer yeah. being released from prison am I right and so was that filmed outside Chelmsford prison by no. any chance it no, wasn't that, I wonder was, yeah it looked that, like it though didn't yeah. it it did yeah <laughs> that's special effects that is actually <laughs> is we, really? we filmed it outside another building that was round the corner from a pub yes yeah. and all we did was CGI'd in all the um the, Prison logos right. and whatnot. So yeah. To yeah, it was just true. outside a building where yeah. people were coming out for work. <laughs> yeah. We had to sort of avoid them quickly while they were coming out. <laughs> and Neil, you play Silvertooth Jack. Mm -hmm. You don't mess with Silvertooth Jack, do you? Let's be honest. No, you don't. No, no, <laughs> no, you don't. Um, um, apart from one person in the film, he does yes. mess with me. Skinner. Yes, Skinner. Yeah. Skinner. Skinner. Skinner, uh, Skinner is absolutely <laughs> bananas, <laughs> isn't he? And that's putting it nicely for radio <laughs> terms. But, um, yeah, Skinner's on the edge. Danny, Danny Midwinter, fantastic, fantastic actor. actor. That's a brilliant performance, isn't it? Yeah, really good actor. I mean, because I was, every time he was on, because um, he's got that m maniacal laugh yeah. as well that he keeps doing. And he's, you know, he's obviously got a drink problem as yeah, well. Large whiskey, large, large, large. Large, large, large. large, large. <laughs> if you've got it, if you've got it. Large whiskey, <laughs> I'd actually, I'd actually worked with him when I first ever started, and he, I was like, a, like in the background. So to get to work with him at that level was was amazing. You know, he's, yeah. he's, he's such he's a, a placid real, man, isn't he? Real he's talent. Really, yeah, he's a really <laughs> calm guy. He's actually, calm yeah. and, and collected. And, yeah. yeah. Then he just lets loose. I mean, you guys are in, in quite a lot of, shall I say, action films. Mm. Anyway, do you find that that the bigger they come, they they come to the movie, the actually the sweeter and the the teddy bearish they are most of the yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the the bigger they are, the, they are really, really calm and sort of nice and polite. And you yeah. sort of you go, well, yeah, that's, that's a good actor. But you will find the odd complete nutters that uh, <laughs> yes. are exactly as they are. Um, Method actors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, some are brought in for that reason, actually, aren't they? <laughs> you know. Um, it is... With, there's so much to talk about about this film, so stay with us because I want to talk a little bit about where you shot it and how you shot it as well because I think this is really exciting, particularly for other filmmakers that are listening to the show this afternoon as well about how you went about it. And I'll try not to get too anoraki. Okay, I'll try and keep it. You know, if I get too anoraki, just press the buzzer and say, "Wait, <laughs> move back a bit." Yeah. Uh, Chris Johnson, Neil Ward, and Paul Knight, my special guests this afternoon. Before we do anything else, though, Tony Fisher in the afternoon. This is BBC Essex. It's BBC Essex. We're talking about 24 Hours in London. It's a brand new film shot right here in Essex. We've got Chris Johnson, Neil Ward and the director Paul Knight with us in the studio. Let's just talk a little bit about the shooting of this film then, Paul, because... I mentioned earlier on, you did it over eight days and it was locations right across Essex. I mean, you did quite a few, didn't you? We did, um, in total, there's 15 different locations and in each location they would would probably use it three, four different angles or rooms. So, yeah, I mean, it was literally set the camera down, film, back up, move to the next one. Yeah. Um, with all the exception of all the police interrogation, there it was a case of we was in there for two days solid, we could set the camera down, set the lights up and just focus on the uh, performances, which obviously the actors were 
off book. It was really good. Some it's some were one takes. So that, really, yeah, that was quite good. I suppose when you're working on a limited timeline as well, it's kind of important that you, you try and hit it as much as you possibly can because time is money, isn't it? Well, Obviously. well, it, yeah. I mean, on well, you say that. Uh, I've got to take that back. On film, yeah. it is, but when you shoot on digital, it's like uh, <laughs> rewind. This, this just, just that, it's yeah. not as much money on digital, to be fair. So. Can you imagine David Lean when he was filming Lawrence of Arabia? Do you know what I mean? On you know, like high quality thirty five mil or whatever it was, <laughs> and you think, and then one camel's just come out of shot or something, or somebody's wearing a watch. Can you imagine how miffed he must have been? Cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no CGI to cover everything up or anything like that. But I think this is a really exciting time because I've got to say, I thought the quality of this film was just terrific. And it's it's an exciting time, I would imagine, for actors. And I'll start with you on this one, Neil, because I was looking at, at your your history and you've been in so many films, especially in the last sort of few years or so. Mm-hmm. And it strikes me that there's a there's a good market out there for, you know, good quality thrillers. Um, yeah. In this country. And actors as well, which I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. I testify yeah. too, yeah. Um, no, it is. Um, the thrillers are, it's the more interesting drama to, to watch. I mean, we can all watch a comedy and laugh, but then the, the job of making a film funny is, is, is a whole different ball game. But thrillers, you can, you can, you can play with tones and you can play with so, so many more angles of, of approaching, especially as an actor and as a director. You've got so many more avenues to explore. So, yeah, it's, it's a big market now, I think, and it's not yeah. just the comedies and the horrors that, 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 do well the thrillers are the what people want to see that the people deep down each sort of have like a, a deep down niggle with something you want to sort that out so yeah, yeah. well it goes it goes right back to your, the death wish days the charles bronson movie yeah. doesn't this, it this is my death wish this is your death wish although yeah. having said that chris uh, the last time you were in was for undercover hooligan yeah. of course of which there's a series of those but also you have a little bit of comedy in you as well because it was <laughs> i love my mum that you were in the last time <laughs> that yeah. i was talking to kiss and wearing about yes. that as well, of course. Yes, that was a, that, that came about after I just uh, I'd finished the film Black Sight, and it was the same producers, I believe, and uh, they had a, a role that was going, and uh, they called me up. I was around that day, and they said I could play with it. So, I, <laughs> I mean, if you watch the film, you'll see what I did with it. I kind of, uh, I was just saying to you that I, I kind of went a little bit Vernon K. I went, oh, my northern, my northern accent <laughs> came back out. I had a shiny suit covered in fake tan. And it's good to do stuff like that. I don't think anyone thought I would do that sort of stuff as well, but I did. I, I really enjoyed that. It was really good fun. And they flew you out to Spain for that, did they? Did <laughs> <laughs> they? Hit. Movie magic. Movie beauty, magic. Beauty of was, filters, I, eh? I was supposed to be in Spain. I think it was a, a bar in Brentwood or something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was, um, yeah, I certainly wasn't flown out to Spain for it. It's, uh, it's great, though. We uh, go back to that movie magic. There are things that you can do. We don't want to give away too much here, obviously, because uh, the magic, it's like the magician telling you how you play the tricks. But um, some of the special effects in this film are really good. And I've noticed that with makeup artists, particularly now, uh, I mean, the, the, the levels are getting really good, aren't they? I mean, there's, there's quite a lot of violence in this film, obviously. Um, and some of the, the, the rather bloody violence, shall we say, is very effective. Uh, mm, well, you say that, but I would have to step in and go, yes, we had a very good makeup artist on set, hmm. but that's CGI. The magician. No Richard Oaks. Oaks. Yeah. <gasps> Richard Oaks, the magician. Yeah, yeah that's all CGI. Uh, yeah. So, so I work, obviously, Richard, the DOP uh, who filmed it, we worked with him, and then it's like, well, this guy's got to be shot here, here, and it's like, we'll fix it in post. So we, we know where we wanted bullet holes and whatnot, yeah. and then once it was edited, me and Rich sat down, and Rich, who's a master of all things visual, yeah. we, we sat through, and yeah, so all, all the blood is CGI. CGI. Yeah. Well, there you are. I couldn't tell. Yeah. There you are. Yeah, all those oh, shots, I shouldn't have said nothing. Yeah, yeah, all those splatters and everything. I mean, there's a, also the warehouse. But yeah. And all that, uh, that I do in that, that yeah, there's, there was no blood nothing involved. Nothing at all, yeah. I mean, it's interesting now, isn't it, because obviously... You, You've got a, a good following as well now, which is always great. You know, people that look forward to your films. And the distribution, how is that now? Because there are a lot of platforms, Paul. Oh, what, this what, 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 release, this one, yeah, what language are you allowed to use? <laughs> in the afternoon? Um, yes, distribution has changed. Yes. Um, and because, getting all technical, DVD sales have dropped by 47% and the increase on streaming hasn't risen at the same thing. Yeah. So there's this... Dead Man's Land. Um, so a lot of distributors now would want the film for nothing. And then it's like you you split the difference where we was fortunate because we had so much buzz on 24 that it was actually a little bit of a bidding war. And we the film actually <laughs> went into profit 
before it's even released. So oh, we're, we're quite happy with that one. Yeah. So where, where, where's the journey for the film now? Because it's getting released. Is it next week? It's out? Monday. 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 So Monday, Monday's yeah. coming. And all good stores. Yeah. In August. So you can get that. Can you get, you can get that on DVD? Get that on yeah. DVD. HMV. Morris, all your supermarkets. Yeah. yeah. Me and Chris and will be hanging around HMV yeah. on Monday morning. If everybody wants to come down and see us, it's <laughs> HMV in South End. Uh, now be honest with me. Do you do that? Do you get a couple of DVDs? Take a little selfie. I basically sit with a pair of fake comedy glasses and a false nose and a moustache. Standing there, going, this is a wonderful film. I, I think I've ordered this one. I don't know, I yeah. Yeah. I think, <laughs> see, to be I fair, I think I've had to order a copy as well. You come up on Amazon when I, I look think, for it, your names are there that you've ordered it. I think, yeah. I, yeah. I think I've ordered it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there is no, something we, about it, though, I think isn't it? Um, mm-hmm. me, me, me and Neil are actually we're quite, quite close friends as well. We both live in South End, so I think we're just going to pop down there on Monday yeah, and just go and get it ourselves and yeah. Uh, yeah. hang around the DVD, see if somebody recognises it. We're going down there hoping they'll get the tenter barriers out, waiting to expect a lot of cues for us. Yeah. 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 We'll sit down and we'll take our own table. Yeah. You've got a bit of a Jason <laughs> Momoa thing going on in this one, haven't you, actually? I've got, I've got a big old beard in this. It, I, yeah. I just, man bun, it was the man, man bun, bun as well. I didn't know what to do with it. Actually, I was talking to Paul before we started shooting, and I said, look, so I threw some pictures at you, didn't I, with the... Um, with this man bun and I kept the beard and uh, you got a man bun yeah. I do like that well, I, want, I want a man bun well I'd grown my hair and I'd grown my beard and generally I tried to do that in between anyway so that I can do anything I want when I start a new film we can cut it off we can keep it or whatever but um, he's decided to keep it and then I just sort of tied it up and I I get lots of compliments on the beer, but not so much on the man bun for some nice. reason. I was wondering in prison with a man bun, how that would go yeah. down. And you should shave head, isn't it? I, I didn't say, have the man bun in prison, if you notice, when I come out. It did to hurt <laughs> Stephen Seagal, did it, the old man bun? When you well, think about it, didn't he have a man bun? Well, it was more pony towels. He was really, yeah. 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 I, think it was, I think it's more for battle reasons that I've tied it up. Yeah, yeah, just in case, I, yeah. Because there's a lot of... out my eyes, that's why I've done it. Hey, fellas, it's so good to see you today. Thank you so much for coming in. Great to see you again, Tom. What's the next project for you? then Paul because uh, you're a busy man doing lots uh, of things yes uh, there's three in the pipelines uh, we'll probably be making an announcement early or late next week on the next one which will probably be a project called Kill Shop right okay you mentioned Dead Man's Land in the streaming world mm. and, and de- releasing world and stuff that could be a good title for one of your films couldn't it, it we Dead hope Man's so. Land <laughs> we, we Dead <laughs> Man's Land I had an idea for a short story this morning funnily enough with and I want to start with this I'm pitching to you now <laughs> You can't get a little bit dead. Hmm? Mm. Do you like that? Well, you could, and then it would be one foot in the grave. Oh, it would, yeah. It's been done, isn't it? <laughs> I don't believe it! <laughs> what about you, Neil? What are you doing next? Um, I'm doing a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Um, I'm actually going to Hollywood. Wow. I'm not. Really. <laughs> There's yeah, a Hollywood up in yeah, Derby yeah. where I'm from. Oh. What an actor. What an actor. <laughs> no, no. I, yeah, well, I've got a few things. We've got a, a couple of releases again by the uh, the magic man, Richard Oakes, uh, that will be coming out later this year, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, a horror called Hosts, which I'm the lead in um, <clears throat> with a couple of others. Uh, and I have a uh, war film being released, uh, hopefully, middle of this year called uh, Eastern Front Point and No Return directed by Rick Roberts but that's there's wow. two things I've got coming come back in and see us we'll no, talk more yeah. I love talking movies on the show how about you Chris what are you up to next well I've actually just got uh, I've just done uh, King Arthur so um, right so that's um, that's released April I think it's um, Netflix and, and, and whatnot. that one um, for Giles Alderson and um, Picture Perfect and then I start shooting a new film on Monday uh, called Bloodhound right um, with Peter Stelliano which I'm really looking forward to well, come back in and see us again soon, Absolutely. fellas. Great Definitely. to see you today. Uh, 24 Hours in Little London, released on Monday. Sorry, Little in London. Actually, can I just say, there is another oh, no, title, yeah, isn't it? It wasn't our title at all. Which is, um, what's the other title of this? It's in Europe, isn't it? Is that... in, in the US and Europe, it's 24 Little Hours, which was always what it was. Yeah. The UK distributor took it upon themselves to rename it 24 Hours in London, to which there was already a film 20 years ago, that got very critically slammed. So right. when you Google us, that's what comes up. Can I say the good news is if you go onto IMDb, yours comes top. Yes. Okay, yes. so you're all right. That's there. what we like to hear, Tony. That's what we like. I've yeah. already put it on Rotten Tomatoes, mate. You'll be all right. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Good to see you all. Thanks Great again for your time. Awesome. Chris Johnson, Neil Ward, and Paul Knight, my special guests this afternoon. Tony Fisher in the afternoon. This is BBC Essex.